tryna make some cheese If a nigga really beefy me and he can hit my leg Goddamn, wait till it, no one ever give me shit Used to pray before I eat, but that shit didn't give me shit Pray that I won't lose my shit, cause that's where I let it hit Mama super proud of me, she don't know the shit I did I just want us to be real, tryna put us in the crib Give a fuck about what you think, he was just another leak Stupid bitch won't suck my lip, I just need her on the knees I'ma ride a play for it, now they kick it with a bitch, okay Like, so you never even heard about it before? Like, I didn't hear about this yeah, it's crazy like how nobody's talking about it. It's King Damien, this motherfucker. See what's up? Tell him to subscribe. Subscribe to Dummy. He's got a dope ass channel. I know you're gonna love it. Just watch his videos. He won't regret it. Hey. That's about it. Gang gang. Ha! Can't give him a lot of fuck. It's your name, Joe Rich. What's name? Back at y'all on that goddamn video, man. Damn it, man. As you guys can see, we got the whole big old one in the building again today. Nah, I'm shine. Well, so today, as you guys can tell from the title, uh, we're gonna be reacting to the yellow vest situation that's going on in France. Big actually didn't know about it. He just found out about it today. I kind of gave him a little background. All my friend out here with me gave him a little background about what's really going on. It's about like the uh, government kind of increased the tax yeah. about stuff going on. But I'm gonna let you watch this video and like to get a big better understanding. We're gonna watch two other videos about like things that like happened like two weeks ago and one was uh, three weeks ago. So let's jump straight to this video man, and see what's up with it, right? You've probably seen the images. Crowds of protesters in France all wearing these yellow high visibility jackets. The protests originally over planned fuel tax rises began back in November 2018 and involved blockading highways across rural parts of the country. Since then, hundreds of thousands of demonstrators have mobilized against the government. Central Paris saw millions of dollars in damage and its most violent protest in a decade, something authorities attribute to the movement's more radical factions. In response, France's president and Emmanuel Macron has scrapped the fuel tax hike and many of his other proposed economic reforms. Finally, the protests haven't stopped. In fact, the Gilets Jaunes, or Yellow Vest movement, is now spreading across Europe. Back in May 2017, Emmanuel Macron won the presidential election on the back of policy that promised numerous economic reforms that would help improve, among other things, social mobility and the environment. To tackle both these issues, the government committed to increasing the country's carbon tax, which included ramping up the price of diesel, the most commonly used car fuel in France. This would commit the country to the French president's environmental policy strategy and raise money for the government as it tries to stimulate France's economy, which has been stagnating for years. In the past, reducing carbon emissions has had widespread support in France, but diesel here is really expensive, with drivers paying more than $6 a gallon, double the price motorists pay in the US. Along with the increased carbon tax, the government wow. also proposed stricter emission That's standards wild. and lowering speed limits across the country. That's one of the reasons why the movement rose up from small-town rural France. These are places with very little public transport where people depend on their cars, which, by the way, are required by law to hold a yellow visibility vest. Following the riots in Paris, where more than a thousand people were arrested, President Macron decided to scrap the increases to the carbon tax. But while the number of people attending weekend protests has dropped since these concessions, the demonstrations against the government have still continued. What started as a protest over planned fuel tax rises has come to encapsulate other grievances amongst the rural population and small town France. The decentralised movement doesn't have one recognised leader, and demands vary among protesters, but they're all united by one thing, their dislike for the president and many of his government's policies. Many believe these communities feel a abandoned by what they see as an out-of-touch, wealthy metropolitan elite, the government from Paris, without really understanding their wants and needs. Mm. Macron's labour reforms, which reduced France's famously strong job protections, also proved unpopular with the Yellow Vest movement. What was supposed to encourage businesses to harm more people actually resulted in thousands of people losing their jobs. Whoa. The president's supporters argue that his business-friendly policies will help attract investors, reduce the country's budget deficit, and revitalise the Eurozone's second largest economy. His budget also helps the middle class by cutting housing taxes by about $11.4 billion. But protesters argue it's the wealthiest in society who have benefited the most from his reforms. Macron's cut to France's wealth tax, true, the richest 1% of the country have gained the most from his new tax breaks. Around the bottom fifth of households are actually worse off. It's these policies which critics believe reinforces the image of a president, a former investment banker, whose main concern is protecting the interests of the country's wealthy. But many experts see strong resistance to reforms, followed by government backtracking, as a predictable cycle of modern political life in France. For example, pension reforms in 1995 were swiftly followed by mass strikes that paralyzed the country's public services. Prime Minister Alain Juppé was eventually forced to drop the Why you that picture plan. Of Today, France's unemployment rate of more than 90% is one of the highest among OECD countries. Many economists argue that Macron's reforms were designed to improve a struggling economy that recently became the most taxed among OECD members. Those shrinking economic opportunities coupled with a lack of democratic representation has caused discontent to grow amongst rural communities against the political system as a whole. As Macron's approval rating hovers around 27 
7%, and support for the Yellow Vest movement moves above 80% in some surveys, many feel he's facing the biggest crisis of his presidency. But now a counter movement to the Yellow Vest called the Foulard Rouge or Red Scarves has emerged, saying they are defending democracy and have marched in Paris, demanding an end to the violence at Gilets Jaunes rallies. However, resentment against my I didn't know that! reforms may be just one part of the Yellow Vest movement. Experts believe it's become a wider populist phenomenon, having spoke to Germany, Belgium, Sweden, the Netherlands and the UK. Who's to say where it's headed next? Hi guys! Is it gonna come to the USA? It's gonna take no. Trump out of office? They need to take Trump out. They need to go take Trump out of office, but that's crazy. What's going on there? Different accusations and stuff from impeachment. Yes, you know, that's crazy how this world's turning out right now. Like, bro, bro, can you believe that, dog? Like, never would have known, bro. Like, so you never even heard about it before? Like, I didn't hear about this. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, how nobody's talking about it. Like, the world needs to definitely know about this shit. Like, for real. But like, alright, so this next two videos is what we're, what we're going to watch is like, kind of like, what's going on. In like, Fred and gas prices. Yeah, yes. like, just to make the government reach it. This video is like, about how they've been treated during the rally. Yeah. Like, how the, how the police officers treat them and like, the fights that happen. So I have two videos and I'm just going to like, just to show you, show you what's happening. See how they treat it. Look like, that's how they treat it. Protesting. Yeah. Look at look at look look how yeah, look yeah. look at that. They fucking fuck oh that's crazy. Yeah. Standing here with a mask. You just look at this stuff and it's just like history repeating itself all over again. Yeah. yeah. I'm super. Oh shit! No, this was from March 2019. You might as well watch this video. This is from March 2019. No, so this is like from... We're still in March, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is like from last week. I don't believe in breaking... I mean... I understand, I understand why they're doing this though, because so the government can listen. Because it's government that's going to have to pay for all this and fix it. But I also feel like the government will use this and won't want to change the law just so they can keep taxing them. Mm -hmm. Just so they say they're destroying shit so they got to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Type stuff. Mm -hmm. like, I feel like that's, that's kind of what will happen, but I just feel like it's still yeah. crazy like how they're going to do it. trying to make a point, you know, they just fucking up anything like the rich people use, because this, uh, a lot of these protesters are like people from the smaller towns and like from the small regions, mm -hmm. like the lower class people, the people that are really being affected by the, like the reform, yeah. so they, they like destroy shit like that the rich people use, places rich people eat, they like rub like stores, like some of my, one of my, oh, one of my, like my yeah, like rioting basically, yeah, like, it's crazy. Yeah. 
offices have come. Like, we fucked up already. Ain't yeah, shit they can do now. It's burning down too. They need to call the fire department. Oh, what? Oh, they're throwing that shit back. They're throwing it back to them. Like, the things they're throwing at them, they're throwing it back to the cops. Throw it back, Paul. Yo, that's crazy. Like, first of all, I need you guys to go in the comments and leave some links of some serious shit that's happened. Like, some crazy. Shit. You guys to leave links before, like, of some crazy shit that was happening, like back last year. Like, I didn't even know there was a new group. Like, you, you seen the red scarf? Yeah. The red scarf movement trying to like counter them. Like, bro. Everybody wearing the vest. Fam, this is crazy. Like, I feel like the world needs to know about this. Like, this shit needs to be out there. Like, CNN needs to talk about this shit, like, every day. This is serious. Like, this is it's serious. Like, it's some serious it shit. Does, you know, people's business. Yeah, stuff, like... You know, all their money and, you know, the, the people. There's people dying. There's people yeah. dying there every day, like, every weekend. Because it's every Saturday they do this. Like, there's people dying. There's people getting injured. Like, people losing their businesses. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's some serious shit. Like, um, because of there's multiple things that's going on, like, like you know, the unemployment rate going on, mm -hmm. you know, and the gas prices are being inflated, and you know, government not listening to the people. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot. Like they're they're paying for stuff that you know they. It's like basically they they they're just giving the money to the rich people. Yeah. Like, like the one rich, the one percent that's benefiting from everything. Like, well, you guys let me know in the comments like what you guys really think about this man. You guys help me understand what's going on. What your opinion is, like if you're in support, if you're against it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like this needs to be heard. I feel that's why I do these videos because I want people to like more people to see this video because this shit needs to be spread worldwide for real, for real, for real, for real. But hey, man, fortunately, we've come to the end of this beautiful video or this sad video, honestly. But it's disturbing, it's disturbing. You guys know what to do with subscribing today, though. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, tell a friend, tell a friend, stop playing the board. Follow me on Instagram, underscore community. Fuck with me on Instagram. On your screen right now, you know what I'm saying? FWP underscore dot dot, you know what I'm saying? But, so you're having a blessed day. If you're out there protesting, stay safe. And make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Not to go loot stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because I know there's niggas out there looting stuff. Now I'm pretty sure there is. You know what I'm saying? But hey man, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next video, alright? Too much, eh? I think I drink too much. Eh? I think I drink too much. Will you roll me blunt so I can't cool off? I'ma get straight to clap. I'ma get straight to. You was a fool, don't step to me. Cause when we gonna cause some havoc? Yo, yo, bitch gonna do when she texting me. Cause you know that she wanna have it. Just like the beat, bitch. I snap when I rap. I don't cap. I don't like. Just remember that. Vanessa niggas, I resemble that. Jumping that pussy, my nigga. Adventure that. Adventure, you know how I ball. Niggas gon' hit on the squad, huh? You know that Demi going up, I ain't never dropping. You know that I drop out the song, the hit song for your bitch, huh? Look, shorty got double D's, huh? I got your bitch on my dick, huh? Come get her, she a freak, huh?